Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, sportsman Z Bob Zolke. And today I am here with opening day of our Kansas City Royals 20, what is this going to be, 2025 season? Let's see. I believe this is going to be 2025. So, um, I was planning on doing an off-season video where I went through and we looked at all of the transactions that the GM for Kansas City made for us as he, you know, as they were made. But my experience with those types of videos is that they don't do well and people aren't that interested in them. So I'm just going to recap what they did, what the uh, GM did and who we got and who we lost so we're going to start out, and we did have a really big signing. I'm surprised that we got him being in Kansas City. But uh, we, we lost Eguy Rosario to Washington. We let John Means go in a trade with Cleveland. We let Chris Bubich go, so Bubich is gone. Um, we traded Angel Zerpa to Pittsburgh for center fielder Matt Gorski. And um, that are those are the players that uh, the notable players that we let go. The players that we acquired, well, first of all, we extended Bobby Witt Jr. So that was nice. That was another thing I was surprised to see. I mean, they did it in real life, but they also, you know, the GM did it here. Um, we traded three minor leaguers to Pittsburgh for catcher Henry Davis, which is good. Because I think that Selvi is probably running down on his, um, you know, career it is almost over. Um, we acquired uh, second baseman Nick Goodwin, 23 years old, and Oliver Cedeno, 20, for Kyle Isbell and 17-year-old David Castro. So I was happy with that deal because, uh, you know, basically Isbell was not that good. He's not that good in real life, and he's not that good in out of the park. Um, and we acquired 25-year-old center fielder Connor Knox for Fran Mil Reyes and minor league catcher Carter Jensen, which I'm also fine with because Fran Mil Reyes also was not that great. But the big signing, the big kahuna, the big deal that he made was he went out and he signed Juan Soto. We've got Juan Soto, people, for eight years. He signed an eight-year, $37,600,000 contract. So I'm surprised that being in Kansas City, we were able to swing a contract like that, but I'm going to take it. So uh, we still have an inexperienced pitching staff. Let me go over the pitching staff. We'll go down here, and we'll go to the pitching staff. So you can see... The starters are going to be Brady Singer, as we had last year, Mr. Brady Singer. And last year, he had a 501 earned run average for us. Um, we have Roy Bohr um, Salinas. And last year, he had a 193 earned run average for Kansas City, but he spent most of last year in the minor leagues. We have Juan Daniel Encarnacion. Um, he did not spend any time last year in the major leagues. We have Randy Vazquez in the starting rotation. Again, he did not spend any time in the major leagues last year. And then our fifth starter is Johnny Brito. And again, did not spend any time in the major leagues last year. So the only two guys that spent any major league time last season for us in our pitching staff uh, is Brady Singer and Ryber Salant. Salinas, who only was very briefly in the major leagues. So we have an untested rotation. But let's look at the lineups. And the lineup versus right uh, is going to be Michael Massey at second, Bobby Witt Jr. at third base, Salvador Perez at catcher, Juan Soto batting in the cleanup spot. I've got him. Uh, Vinny Pasquatino at first, Gavin Cross and right, Diego Hernandez at center, MJ Melendez at DH, and Xiang Ching Ken Chen at shortstop. Most of these guys we had last year. This is pretty much, you know, except for the shortstop, whose name I'm really having problems with, and uh, Juan Soto. I think we pretty much had all of these guys last year at some point. 
And then uh, you look at left-handed, it's not really much different. Um, Caden Wallace is in there, and uh, he was not in the majors last year. But by and large, the lineups are the same. It's just the pitching staff is very untested. And so with that, we are going to play the first game of the season, opening day, because I know that when you you know watch my channel, you're looking for a game. And so I knew that, and I knew that I could not just have an off-season discussion. So I tied that in to the first game of the season on opening day. They will have, uh, I've already gone over our lineups, um, but uh, the Twins will have Royce Lewis batting first and playing second base. Luis Arise will bat a second and be at first base. Teoscar Hernandez will be in right field batting third. Evan Carter, who is in on the Rangers in real life, will be in left field. Carlos Correa will be at shortstop batting fifth. Josh Bell will be the DH for them. Byron Buxton in center field will bat 7th. And Matt Chap Chapman will be the third baseman batting 8th. And then Christian Vasquez is going to catch for them. And so that's how we're all going to line up. And we're going to start the game here in Kansas City. It's our home opener. It's our opener, 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 opener. The opening day game. And so we are going to pitch to the batter. And they're going to look around the stadium as they do the quick tour around uh, Kauffman Stadium. And uh, hmm, that's not a really good view. All right, we're going to have to change that view. So I think that was looks like maybe a, a base hit. So let's, let's change this view. Initial camera view. Um, we're going to go wide camera. And, uh, yeah, let me see if this, no, nope, that doesn't improve it. And there's another base hit. So we're getting racked while I can't even see what's going on. That's going to be a double. So there's runners at second and third. We got to improve that angle, that look. Um, let's see. Initial camera view, pitch camera view, we're going to go. Um, home plate camera. No, we're going to go center, center field camera. Uh, that is not what I wanted. Oh, man. All right. Let's go. Pitch camera view. We're going to go center field close let's see if I think this is what I want yes that's what I want and I don't want to be looking at the people in the stands so let's that's maybe that's action camera view let's get that uh, sorry about all this uh, let's see here action camera view we're gonna say um, wide camera There we go. This is exactly what I want. We got an out at second. So there's one out, but uh, the Twins by now are up 2 nothing. while I was trying to adjust all of the camera views. And then there's a walk. So Singer is off to a terrible start here on opening day. And uh, that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop, and he does get the out at first. And so we're out of the inning, but the Twins got two quick runs in the first Remember, though, we now have Juan Soto, and we're going to be facing Joe Ryan. Michael Massey will be the first hitter, and he's going to strike out. That brings up Bobby Witt Jr., one of our big guys. We just extended him, as I said. I'm not sure of the details of the contract. And then Salvador Perez, Selvi is up, and Selvi is going to get a base hit and set the table for Soto. Let's see what Soto can do with a man at first base. We need a big hit, an extra base hit. And he is going to get one that uh, eats up the third baseman, and so it's good for a single. And runners are at, and maybe an error, I don't know, but it's uh, runners at first and second with two down and Vinny Pasquatino up. And Vinny Pasquatino hits one down the line. We're going to get at least one run here, maybe two. 
Yeah, he's going to hold on to it, so it looks like we might tie this game. Yeah, especially with the outfielder running the other way towards the outfield instead of towards the infield. So we tie the game. Nice. Uh, Gavin Cross is the batter, and Gavin Cross hits one right back to the pitcher. He handles it for the out, and uh, we're out of the inning. But we did tie the game. So... With a new lease on life, let's see if Brady Singer can do... No, he is just really... Brady Singer doesn't seem to have it today. Maybe I should go to the bullpen early so that we can win on opening day for our home fans. And there is going to be... And not getting the guy at second as he, as he steals. That's going to be a pop-up on the infield, though. So that's good. One down, man at second, and... Royce Lewis back to the top of their lineup because they batted pretty much around last time. And did we get him? No, he's safe. Oh my God, Singer, you're terrible. That is going to be nobody. He, I mean, the second baseman just holds the ball. So, yeah, I mean, why don't we do that? That works. So you've got a 3-2 lead now for the Twins. And uh, only one out. And then uh, that's going to be a fly ball to right field. So there is two down now. And uh, runners at first and second. And Evan Carter is the batter. And Evan Carter is out. Thank God. Thank God he didn't let that drop in front of him. But the Twins did get another run. And they take a 3-2 to two lead here. And we have Diego Hernandez up. Hopefully we've got a lineup that can... Ah, God, he's out on a great play in the right field. Hopefully we have an offense that can, you know, a lineup that can outscore what our pitching allows because our pitching is probably going to be a rough point this, this game, this uh, season. So two down, but he hits it right back through the box for a base hit. So our shortstop is aboard and... Michael Massey is up. Michael Massey is supposed to be a pretty good hitter, and he walks. So we've got the first two guys on with Bobby Witt Jr. Come on, Witt. Oh, you struck out. So we got no runs. We're going to the top of the third. I'm going to try to get Singer through at least the third. I mean, I would like to see him go five, but if he keeps giving up a run every inning, we can't really. That's not sustainable. Uh, Josh Bell is up. Not a big contact guy, Josh Bell isn't. And he does hit it deep, but it's right to the center fielder who makes the play. And there's two down. And Byron Buxton is the batter. Dangerous hitter when he is healthy, but he has a problem staying healthy. He walks, and Matt Chapman is up. Matt Chapman is going shopping at the gap, and they might get a run on this. I'm going to have to probably take Brady uh, Singer out of this game, unfortunately, because this is really not a sustainable thing. I mean, we have a chance to stay in this game. There's two outs. Christian Vasquez up, not a good hitter, and he strikes out. So, with us coming to the plate, I am going to get the bullpen going because Singer just doesn't have it today. Um, let's get... Um, let's get Ty Block up and warming. And so we're going to go back to the game with him warming up. Facing Joe Ryan, we have Salvador Perez. Selvi is going to get a base hit and set the table again for Juan Soto, who hopefully can get on again. And, uh... Soto up to plate, got a hit last time, and this time he is going to fly out deep to left field. So Pasquatino is up, he had a hit last time, we strung some hits together, which is something we've had a problem doing in past years, and he does it again, he gets a hit between first and second, and uh, Salvador Perez amazingly makes it to third base on that hit. So we have run, really, you know, and 
um, Pasquatino went to second on that. So one out, runners at second and third, and Gavin Cross, the batter, and he is going to fly shallow so that nobody can score. Thank you, Gavin Cross. Diego Hernandez, the center fielder, is up. He's going to rip a base hit. So maybe this ties the game. You would think it does, and it does. So we tied the game. We're even at four. Good thing we've got the bullpen going. Melendez, the DH, is up. And Melendez is going to hit a base hit. It gets falls right in front of the center fielder, and the runner advances to third. So we have runners at the corners with two down, and our shortstop up. And he is going to ground out to second. But we did tie the game. And uh, hopefully, not only is our guy ready, but hopefully Ty Block is better than Brady Singer has been. You would think he has to be. So he's going to deal. And that's going to be a pop-out. Pop-out to the shortstop. One down quickly. And that's going to be a strikeout. Nice. Ty Block comes on. He says, yeah, enough with Brady Anderson. I'm not fooling around. Lefty out of the bullpen. And that's going to be a fly ball to right. So we held him to his first zero inning. We're going to the bottom of the fourth, tied at four. Michael Massey up. And he's going to hit one up the middle for a base hit. Nice. Now, what do we got over there? I'm going to try to steal second with him. And he couldn't get a lead. I guess he couldn't get a lead, so we're going to just hit away with Bobby Witt. Bobby Witt just drives it into the ground, and he's going to beat it out. Does he beat it out? He does. So we've got two guys on, no outs, and Selvi up. And Selvi strikes out, but that's going to bring, bring one... Soto to the plate, our new acquisition, our new expensive acquisition. And did he hit a home run? Did he hit one out? He did. What? Soto is the man. So, yeah, we take a nice lead here on the Twins. And it is going to be 7-4. to four. And Pasquatino up. Pasquatino with two hits today. And he's going to make it, make it three. He hits one between, this time, between short and third for a base hit, which brings up Gavin Cross. And Gavin Cross is going to fly out to center. Yeah, on a good play by the center fielder, no less. But he does. Uh, great play by Buxton there. Um, and there's two down with Diego Hernandez up. And he is going to walk. Nice. So we got two guys on, two down, MJ Melendez up. He's got some pop sometimes, but now he's just going to ground out to second. So uh, that leaves us still in the lead, but it would have been nice to tack on a couple more runs there. We don't know how long Ty Block is going to be able to last or how uh, good he's going to be. But, um, oh, second baseman couldn't get it just over his head. So there's a base hit, man aboard with no outs, and Carlos Correa is the batter. Carlos Correa is also going to get a base hit right over the second baseman's head, and we're not going to get him at third. Close, but he was safe. Runners are at the corners. Block is falling apart here, and he fell apart. So he just allowed the game to be tied. At seven. This is a slam bang scuffle on opening day. Ty Block losing. He's losing it. And that is going to be a, a, a base hit. Another base hit. I guess I better get the bullpen up again. I don't like going through the bullpen either, because especially not on opening day, because you've got other games you're going to have to, you know, you got a whole season ahead of you. But. We have to be ready for this. And that is going to be a base hit. Block is just done. I mean, I think he's done. 
Did I? Did we get them? No. So second and third, nobody out. Block just can't do it. He gets an out. Finally, he gets an out. I'm sure the guy in the bullpen isn't ready yet, though. It is 8-7. Let me see if he's... Nope, he's not ready yet. That doesn't mean I couldn't bring him in, but probably not a great idea. He does finally get another out, though. But now they have a 9-7 lead. Uh, and it's only the fifth inning. And now I am going to bring him in no matter what. I, he's not ready, but I'm going to bring him in anyway. Because I don't want to warm him up while we're batting and then he'll get be tired. And besides, Block was really, he was just winding down. So that should be a ground out to end the inning. It does, but the Twins strike for five there and take a 9-7 lead. So we have to get back on top again. Now uh, our shortstop is up. He's one for two today. And uh, he's going to ground out to the pitcher. So there's one down. And Michael Massey up. And Michael Massey is not. Yes, he is. That eats up the shortstop for a base hit. Now I am going to try to steal second again. Maybe it works. Maybe it doesn't. It doesn't. And uh, Lucas Lutke is now the relief pitcher also for the Twins. So we got to their bullpen. Bobby Witt Jr. is up. We extended this guy. He needs to start to show why. And he didn't there. He hits into a double play that takes us out of the inning. And we are still losing by two. And... Um, T. Oscar Hernandez is the batter against Will Sanders, who I'm leaving out there. And he walks. So, like I said, this pitching staff, it's a lot of questions and not any real answers. And we're going to have to see as the season evolves um, what we've got. But Sanders has allowed the first two guys on with nobody out. And... That's going to be another base hit, so he's allowed three straight base hits. Bases are loaded, nobody out, and Josh Bell is the batter. We need a strikeout right here. i got to tell you, and he gets it. Nice strikeout. Now we need a double play. I'd like to see a double play ball, please. We might get that, too. No! They go for the player at home. And he's out, so at least we cut off the run at the plate. It's still 9-7, but the bases are loaded. I would have rather seen them try to get the double play there, but that's going to be a ground out to third to end the inning. So we do get out without allowing another run, but it's still 9-7, and I'm going back to the bullpen. We're going to get Anthony Mashevich up. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it or not, but I'm going to say it is. And Lutke is pitching to Perez. Salvador Perez leading off for us. And Salvador Perez is going to fly out to right. So there's one down with nobody on. Could use another home run here by Soto. And bring us within one. But that's a little much to ask for the day that this guy has had. He grounds out to first base. So there's two down and Pasquatino up. He's had a pretty good day. And he's going to continue to have a good day. He gets another base hit that eats up the second baseman. Man aboard with two down and Gavin Cross up. And Gavin Cross is going to fly out. Buxton makes a great diving catch and puts him away. So it's 9-7. Um, did I warm somebody up? I did. I'm going to let, um, I am going to let Sanders start the inning, though, at least. Because he does still have some gas in the tank, and he strikes out the first batter. Uh, that brings up Royce Lewis back to the top of the Twins lineup. And he strikes him out. So now, all of a sudden, he wants to be good. But that's too bad, because you've run your course, and we're going to bring in Anthony Mashevich. Try to get the last out here of this inning. 
And then, uh, and then we got to go and try to regroup and get two runs. But no, that's going to be a double in the gap. Uh, at first, I thought it might be a home run, but it didn't quite have the distance. That's going to be a triple. It's not going to be a double. It's going to be a triple. Did we get him? Nope. So that's a triple for a rise, and that brings up T. Oscar Hernandez. And he strikes out to Oscar Hernandez. We get out again without any further damage being done. But we are still down by two with Diego Hernandez up the plate. And he is going to, it looks like, ground out to short. And he did. And now they have Jimmy Nelson pitching. I don't know who Jimmy Nelson is. I don't know if he's a real guy. But he just got the first two batters of this inning out. We are in the seventh. Down by two. And our shortstop is up the, the uh, bottom of the lineup. And he is... Oh, my God. Look at that tumbling catch by Buxton. Buxton, he's, 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 he's just showing off out there. All right. So I'm going to leave Mashevich in. Uh, we can't really burn through the bullpen too badly here. He strikes the first guy out, which is nice. Um, Carlos Correa's up. Got to learn this pitching staff and who I can bring in when. And, uh, you know, the two guys I brought in, well, the guy I started and the one or two guys that I brought in, they weren't that good. But, uh, well, Mashevich is falling apart here now. There's two guys on with only one out. But he drives the ball into the ground, and there we're going to be late getting him. I knew it. I just knew that that was going to happen. Buxton beats it out. Bases are loaded with one out. We've got the infield in, and that is going to be an out. No, it's not going to be an out. It's going to be a single. It's going to drive in two runs. Or one. It just drives in one. We were lucky on that. And there's a strikeout. So, yeah, we got lucky. But now, Mashevich is just about out of gas. So, we got to hope we get this out. All right, so the Twins came up with a run in the eighth. We're in the bottom of the eighth, and we're losing by three. I got to get somebody else up in the bullpen. We're going to get Jesus Lazardo, Lazardo up in the pen. And, um,. Michael Massey is going to be the batter. Now, Lazardo last year was on the team, but he was a starter for most of the season. Not a good starter. We'll take a good look at that when we bring him in. But uh, they have Handel Gustav pitching. Bobby Witt Jr. is up with a man aboard and nobody out. And he is going to fly out to Buxton. So there's one down, which brings up Selvi. Need a base hit by Selvi. And now another great diving catch by Buxton. Buxton is just all over the place out there. And Juan Soto is the batter. And Juan Soto, I don't know what that was. But whatever it was, it's going to put runners at potentially second and third. <coughs> I don't know what you call that. but uh, Or no, first and third. First and third, Pasquatino up. Now, Pasquatino's four for four today. Yeah, he's going to get out, looks like, but we can't really blame him for that. He's four for five on the day. You can't ask him to go five for five, can you? I don't think so. So we're going to bring in Jesus Lazardo here in the top of the ninth inning. Hopefully he can hold them to nothing, and then we can get three runs. But that is going to be a tall order, even for our new revamped Kansas City lineup. There's one down, and uh, one down, and nobody on. And that's going to be a base hit right down the left field line. So that should be good for a double. So you got a man at second with one out. And um, Evan Carter is the batter. Evan Carter drives the ball into the ground, and of course it's going to be late. The second baseman doesn't even bother with a throw, in fact. 
So runners are at the corners with one down. And we might as well play back. I mean, we're losing by three runs here. And he does get the next guy to pop out. So that's good. All he's got to do is get this last batter. It's Josh Bell. He's not a big contact guy. And he does get him. He strikes him out. And we are still down by three. But that's a tall order. And they bring in Yoan Duran. I know that guy. I know he's real for sure. And, uh, and he's pretty good. And that's going to be an error on the first baseman. So our first batter reaches on an error, which brings up Diego Hernandez. And Diego Hernandez is going to um, hit into a fielder's choice. So he's aboard with one down, and MJ Melendez, the DH, is up. And he's going to walk. No, he's going to strike out. Ah, dang. All right, there's two down, and the shortstop's up. Might as well let him hit. I mean, he got a hit today. But he strikes out. So we lose a heartbreaker on opening day, 10-7. to And we're going to take a look at the box score, as we always do. Hitting-wise, we were good. We were 16 for 43 batting, um, seven RBIs, two walks. Uh, but we left 22 guys on base. That's not so great. But the pitching is what really killed us. Singer only went three, and he allowed seven hits and four earned runs. Block went an inning and two-thirds and allowed five runs. Sanders went two and allowed no runs, but he did allow five guys on base in that two innings. Or no, no, uh, three guys on base in that two innings. Mashevitz went one and a third and allowed a run, and then Lazardo came on uh, for the ninth. He pitched an inning and allowed two hits. So the pitching is still, it's going to be a problem, it looks like. And then we go back to the standings. Of course, though we're 0-1, we know that. So uh, that's where we stand. We're 0-1, lost on opening day, and that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.